Well, folks, how are we again for the weekly forecast? During this last week, we did see a scattering of thunderstorm activity, particularly during the midweek period. Most areas that were impacted included the Panhandle, portions of southwest, southeast Nebraska, and then some scattered thunderstorm activity across portions of east, central, central, and northeast Nebraska. Where we received precipitation, it was localized heavy. Where we didn't receive precipitation, really much more than just wetting the pavement. And so this dry trend is starting to materialize somewhat over the last couple of weeks. And the big question is, will this be a trend that continues on into the future? Now, we do have a very strong El Nino event ongoing and is expected to intensify as we go into the remainder of the year, possibly eclipsing the previous strong event from the 97, 98 El Nino. So we are looking at the potential for this drawing pattern to kind of establish itself. The question is, where will it establish itself either in the western or the eastern Corn Belt? Right now in the east, they've been inundated with precip event after precip event, particularly from Illinois eastward. And the crops really, to my point, look very ugly. And unfortunately, if we don't uh, see a continuation of this rain and get into a hot dry spell, we could see the crops really fall apart because at least for the corn, I think that we're going to be dealing with some very shallow rooted corn that will be susceptible to intense hot dry spells. For us, there is a couple opportunities for precipitation, but it looks like the warm temperatures at least will continue into the foreseeable future. So let's take a look at the upper models and see what we have in store. First of all, we have a trough that's working in the western United States and we have a major ridge across the lower Mississippi River Valley. That's allowing moisture to be pumped at the lower layers from the Gulf of Mexico and then we get the monsoon in the mid layer, moisture coming in, interacting with this front. There's a possibility that we'll start to see some thunderstorm development as we get into the afternoon, late afternoon hours across the panel. Some of these may make their way into central Nebraska during the overnight hours, but more importantly, as this trough races toward the Great Lakes, we will see thunderstorm development across the western part of the state, and as the front of the surface sags southward, we're likely to see scattered thunderstorm activity across the southern half of the state. The lesser chances will occur across northeastern portions of the state. As we go into Monday, that system departs off the east coast. There's another piece of energy that's very weak that moves through the mid layers of the atmosphere that may again touch off thunderstorm activity, particularly across the southern one third of the state. And then as we get into Tuesday, pretty much all the systems pass by us and we start to see some ridging taking place, very weak, but it's an onset of a very warm pattern that should develop by midweek. As this ridge starts to build in, it's gonna push the moisture flow to our north. The one thing I will say about the models, the models that I'm using right now, are biased more toward the warm side. If this front does sag that a little bit farther south, my forecast will be off by a good five to 10 degrees. So this is a very shaky forecast at best. As we get into Wednesday, we see this ridge building in, brings the warm air into our region, and it starts to expand by Thursday to include all of the Eastern Corn Belt, and yet another trough approaches from the west that should bring thunderstorm activity into our region as we get into Friday and Saturday and next week as it approaches the Central Rockies. So the temperature forecast looks like we're gonna see warm temperatures across the southern and western portion of the state through the entire period. A little bit cooler up in the northwest this weekend, and then we'll start to see a warming trend as we go through the week. The 8 to 14 day forecast from next Thursday through the following Tuesday keeps the warm area in place. And in terms of precipitation, we see the dry trend existing from Texas all the way up into the eastern Corn Belt.